좋은 아침. 아침 드셨어요? 밥 먹었어? Let's start with a very trendy greeting. We use it usually at work. When people meet their co-workers in the morning, they say, 좋은 아침. 좋은 아침. It was literally translated good morning into Korean. Be careful with your pronunciation. It's 좋은, 좋은, not 좋은, because the final consonant h is a silent. And don't use it on your boss. When you answer, just repeat it. I will go first, then answer me. 좋은 아침. Good. Now you go first. 좋은 아침. Now let's talk about a unique Korean greeting that is very historical. By the way, when you think of English, there is a greeting that fits the time, like good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Is there such an expression in Korean? I would say no. Yes, of course, we say, 좋은 아침, you just learned above. But it was recently made with a translation from English. However, there is a greeting very similar to this. I will show you a video. It's an entertainment program that the host meets people and perform missions. The mission of this episode was to provide the breakfast for people. Listen carefully to how they greet passers-by. 아침 드셨어요? 됐어요. 아침 아침 드셨어요? 아침 드셨어요? 아침 드셨어요? 아침 이거 아침 안 드셨잖아. 어 아침 어 아침 아침 아침. Did you hear? In the final scene, a man shouts, 아침 아침 desperately as he follows a passing person. What does 아침 mean? Yes, 아침 literally means morning and at the same time has the meaning of breakfast. Here it means breakfast. Depending on the time, for example, if it's morning, we say 아침 드셨어요? 아침 드셨어요? 아침 is breakfast. And 드셨어요 is an honorific form of to eat in the past tense. So it means, have you had breakfast? Lunch is 점심 and dinner is 저녁. 점심, 저녁. Can you say, have you had lunch? Good. It would be 점심 드셨어요? 점심 드셨어요? And have you had dinner would be? Yes. 저녁 드셨어요? 저녁 드셨어요? In the past, Korea's noblest of lease was to ensure that no one starved within 40 km in all directions. Under the premise, that I'm comfortable when my neighbors are comfortable. They pursued coexistence in the community. So asking if people had eaten became a greeting. For example, when you meet a senior from another department at lunch time, 점심 드셨어요? 점심 드셨어요? would be very natural and emotional greeting instead of 안녕하세요. And the senior can say 점심 먹었어요? 점심 먹었어요? to his junior co-workers because 먹다 is the base form of polite form 드시다. Here is another expression. Regardless of the time, you can generally say 식사하셨어요? 식사하셨어요? 식사하다 is to have a meal. So it means, did you have a meal? It can be used to your boss or elders. And 식사했어요? 식사했어요? 
to your junior co-workers. However, shiksahada is a loan word came into the early 20th century. The old one is 진지 드셨어요? 진지 드셨어요? 진지 means meal. It's an honorific word for 밥. But 진지 is an extremely honorific term, so rarely used these days. It's really complicated. In conclusion, although many people use 식사 하셨어요 these days, I recommend 아침 드셨어요 as a language teacher because it's a more authentic Korean expression. 안녕하세요. 아침 드셨어요? As I said, 밥 is the casual speech of 진지. So, regardless of the time, you can say 밥 먹었어? 밥 먹었어? to your friends or someone younger than you. Of course, if it's morning, you can say 아침 먹었어? 아침 먹었어? Okay, now you are looking at three types of greetings based on the age and position of the listener. I will set a situation and you can choose a correct one. Number one, I'm your teacher. Which expression is good? Yes, the first one. 선생님, 아침 드셨어요? Please say hello to me, then I will answer you. Ne 네, mogostoyo. Be careful. In this case, ne 네, tishosoyo would be incorrect. Even if I am a queen, I can't use honorific words for myself. So I have to answer ne 네, mogostoyo. Number two, and now say hello to your friend you met at lunch time. Which one is the right greeting? Yes, the last one is good. 점심 먹었어? 점심 먹었어? Could you repeat after me? 점심 드셨어요? 점심 먹었어요? 점심 먹었어?